When it comes to public perception of an armed sheriff in the sky, Hollywood's given us this. Ladies and gentlemen, I need every passenger to raise their hands above their head. Liam Neeson as the grizzled federal air marshal taking on a bad guy at 40,000 feet makes for great entertainment. Yet, a day in the life of a federal air marshal is as intriguing as any piece of fiction. A plane has just crashed into the World Trade Center. Following 9-11 on September 20th, before a joint session of Congress, President Bush addressed the nation to announce a new Department of Homeland Security, and with it, a major overhaul of aviation security. We will come together to improve air safety, to dramatically expand the number of air marshals on domestic flights. Within one month, the newly created Transportation Security Administration began to hire, train, and deploy 600 air marshals. Thousands more were hired in the months and years that followed. Training the newly hired federal air marshals, referred to as FAMS, was a major undertaking. New recruits who make it to the training academy have major challenges. Firearms training requires that they be in the top percentage of shooters. Recruits are trained in aircraft simulators built to scale, and as one fan points out, for a very good reason. There's certain moves you can't make, there's height restrictions, there's movement in the seat, there's things that you're going to bump over, move into. Recruits learn quickly that on a crowded aircraft and with no backup, what's taught on paper may not apply at 30,000 feet. We try to get our fans to not operate in the black and white, where they're thinking in the gray. Supervisory Air Marshal Denise Koblinski says they are taught to always search for suspicious behavior that might lead to an actual threat. You could look at how long someone's been out of their seat, or whether um, someone ate dinner or didn't eat dinner, whether they're sleeping or not sleeping. You, you notice every nuance in the aircraft. It's all risk-based now. It's based on intelligence in terms of why we're doing what we're doing, what flights we're on. Uh, how we're operating in ground-based environments. Ground-based or not, federal air marshals cannot keep their guard down as new terror threats continue to make aviation a top target. The fact still remains that we continue to face a real and persistent enemy which is adept in the design, construction, and concealment of bombs, most notably non-metallic improvised explosive devices. Through FAMS and other layers of security, TSA remains vigilant and adaptable in securing the nation's transportation systems.